So if you think about uh, loading the kiln as setting up a whole bunch of experiments of what's going to happen, um, you start to get a kind of a sense of play in the process. And so I wanted to share a technique I've been playing with for a little while, which I call mulching, where I know if the ash gets bermed up around the pots like it does in the stoking aisle, I get a different effect on the clay. So I, most of that ash um, in contact with the clay is not a problem. So I thought, what happens if I wad a pot and put it on the floor of the kiln and then take ash from my fireplace? Ash from the front of the firebox of a wood kiln is fairly spent. Most of the alkalis are out of there. But out of my wood stove in the studio, this ash is um, really good, juicy stuff. And so the reason I call it mulching is because I'm putting it up around the base of the pot and I'm creating a horizon line right along here. And what will happen during the firing is the ash will shrink a little bit and pull away but it will insulate um, and adhere to the, to the pot. Um, it leaves a it can leave a very sugary quality of ash. And I've seen purples and greens and some beautiful stuff right along that horizon line. It'll also leave that horizon line. So let's say you wanted to make landscape-like work. This would be a fun technique to play with in your wood kiln.